In this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to restore the factory. Hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do this very simple Restore the Factory logo. Over here, Restore can be again your brand name, then the factory, the slogan and the little R over here, a piece of the main brand. Now before we start with everything, I just want to say a quick thank you to all my Patreon supporters who already support me on Patreon. I hope you guys enjoy the rewards. Now for all of you who don't know about this, you can find more in the description down below or you can find my Patreon page under patreon.com slash tronics design so yeah thanks again for all of you all right so let's start as well now with the tutorial here what we're going to do first of all as you guys can see i've also added a bit of color here just this is the normal white logo and a bit of color here as well so i'm going to show you guys that and as well the city here is just again a music city that i really like so i'm going to design that but you guys can also do that just on black or if you want to also later change it to white to gray whatever you like okay let's turn that off i'm going to just start again here with my background from the city so let's start text tool art and first step i'm going to make a big selection over here and just write restore so again restore is the first word basically the company name Okay, and this is all just invented, so there's nothing like this in reality. I'm going to select a new color over here, just switch that to white. Okay, and as well, I'm going to choose the right font, which is already selected here, Bebas Neue. You guys can also find it on thefont.com, or in the description down below is a link as well. Okay, so I've selected that. The size is pretty good so far, so something around 77 pixels. I'm going to accept it and just move that somewhere here into the center. Let's also quickly call up our actions again. So the action palette selected, guidelines, I'm gonna play that and just move it into the center. For all of you who don't know about the actions, have a look on the channel, we've created another tutorial there. I'm gonna place it somewhere here into the center. Okay, let's go back to view and just say clear guides. As well, if you don't have actions palette and character box over here, which we're gonna work with in a moment, please go to window and select these boxes over here. Okay, so next step, again, Command J, I'm gonna duplicate the restore word. Again, guys, I'm working with a Mac. If you're a Windows user, please use Control when I say Command. I'm also gonna select both of these layers quickly, move them to the top so they're out of our way, and I'm gonna take restore copy, double click on here, and just rename that maybe to the factory so you guys know exactly what's going on. Here we go in case you also get that from Patreon, the PSD files. Okay, let's move that all the way down and I'm just gonna select it again with text tool and just write here the factory. Okay, like so. And we're going to select the complete word here and first of all make the whole selection way smaller. So I'm gonna just change it here to maybe 13, 15 pixels. Yeah, let's try 15 for the start. I'm gonna hit enter or maybe just select it from the top, so that's been accepted. And as well, I'm also gonna choose still Bebas Neue, same foreground color, white. Okay, take the Move tool. I'm gonna put it somewhere into the center. Press Z to zoom out a little bit, so I can just see it a little bit further away. This always helps me, and helps me uh, just to balance the whole logo a little bit. Okay, so what I want to do is again, Z, zoom in text tool and I'm going to select the whole factory word here and just go back to my character box over here and just take the tracking and move that out a little bit. So maybe something around 220, let's try that, 220, okay, yeah, and that looks kind of great. I'm going to accept it so the tracking is just a little bit further away. Okay, move it again into the center here. Again, guys, don't forget you can find under window the character box here if you don't have that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again once more with Z. Again, take the Move tool and just move Factory around a little bit with my cursors. Great, so I'm happy with that. Everything looks good. I'm going to hold Shift, select Restore Layer as well here, and just move that a little bit down. So I have a bit more space here for the main logo on top. So I thought now about this of creating a new layer and taking the pen tool out, creating a really cool path and trying to reconstruct a new are from scratch. But then I thought again, you can obviously also go again with text tool or on the font and find some pretty cool uh, modern fonts that already look really great. So I did exactly that. I'm just gonna quickly make a selection here. Type R, make it nice and big and show you guys which font I found again. So let me just find it over here. B 
Bieber's Beefer Foundation. You guys can also find that in the description or on the font. So over here I found a pretty cool font ready where the R looks great. And this is exactly what I needed for this Restore Factory logo then. So I'm going to select it again, make it a bit bigger still, accept it and put this somewhere here into the center. So that's obviously the main point now of this whole brand, the R over here. Maybe at some cases even put it in front, remove this R. This is obviously a playing thing and a personal taste if you like a little bit like this or if you would rather like it like this. Okay, but I'm pretty happy with this now. So I'm going to leave it just over here. Maybe make it a notch smaller. So something like that. 117, okay. And I'm pretty happy with that and that looks great. Again, quickly under the actions, I'm going to call up the guidelines just to try put it a little bit more in the center. So again, hold shift on the keyboard, select the factory, restore and R, all layers, and with move tool, just a bit more into the center here. Great, so since we got everything selected, I'm gonna press command G and put it together in one group again and rename this to logo one. Please, Windows users, again, use control when I say command. Okay, now as well, again, command J, so you're gonna duplicate the whole step. And I'm just going to write here, double tap and write logo number two, since this is going to have color. So the reason why I also duplicate this is because if at some stage I don't like the color, I can just delete it and start from scratch again from logo number one. So let's disable this. I'm also going to go to view and clear the guides. And we're going to go back to logo number two, open this. And we're going to select first of all the text layer just with the R. I'm going to select the text tool. Select it and just give it a, like a simple new color actually. So something around yellow, a deep yellow, I think would look really great on this. Okay, something around here. You guys can also get all the values down here. I'm going to hit OK again and accept it from the top. Great, so the next word again, restore. And in here, I just want to take the first two letters so it plays a little bit nicer with the logo together. Again, under the color, I'm going to select with the color picker the same color from R. Hit OK over here and as well going to accept it from the top. And simply there we already go, have it with a complete new color. So now again, you can also obviously compare it later, show it to your client if they would rather like to have two options. So you can obviously create a really cool presentation. It's a little bit too small now here, everything, but you guys kind of get the point. So you can show it to your client with art color, with color, etc. Okay, yeah, so that's basically all that I also wanted to show you guys in this tutorial, how to create the simple logo and change the color. So yeah, that's basically all for today's Photoshop tutorial as well. If you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share it with all your friends that can benefit from this or who would like to learn something like this. Thanks again for all of you who support me already on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thanks guys and till then, bye bye.